Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Hannah. I post all things fashion, beauty, lifestyle related that are also vegan and cruelty free. And today I wanted to do a foundation review. I've been sitting on this foundation for so long waiting to do a review, so I'm finally ready to do it. And I'm very excited about it. So the foundation we're gonna be reviewing is the Bare Minerals. This is the Complexion Rescue Hydrating Foundation Stick. So I love a stick foundation. I love the Hourglass stick foundation. I also love ColourPop stick foundation. Stick foundation definitely gives you a different look than a liquid foundation, so I find that there are times where I'd rather wear a stick foundation than a liquid foundation. I got this in the color Cashew 3.5, which I am very, very hopeful this will be a good match. It looks like a really good match, but we never know, do we? Because we've had some mishaps on this channel. So I've started out, I've already done all my skincare and I always do sunscreen, always, always. So I did this Blossoma sunscreen. It is a UVA, UVB protection. It's a moisturizer plus a zinc oxide sunscreen. I love this stuff so much. And now I'm gonna go in with a primer. So I like to use a hydrating primer when I'm using a stick foundation. Stick foundations tend to be a little more matte even though this one is a hydrating foundation stick, I still feel like it's not gonna be as hydrating as like a liquid foundation would be, so I'm still gonna go in with a hydrating primer. And this is by Lawless. This is the Set the Stage Hydrating Priming Serum. And this just gives my skin a really nice hydrated base before I put the foundation on. Okay, so this retails for $32. I honestly feel like the shade range is not impressive. I mean, it's not impressive at all. There's not that many darker shades, but I do like Bare Minerals products. One of my favorite foundations is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro. I love it so much. So I am hopeful that I will like this one as well. Face is primed. Let's go on in with the foundation. Okay, off the bat, it is way more hydrating than I thought, and I feel like I put on way more product. I mean, I don't know if you can see this, but it's almost like melted. Like it almost is like the consistency of putting lipstick on your face because it has kind of like melted down into like when you put on lipstick and it kind of forms to your lips. Um, so I'm gonna use a brush. I like to use a brush with stick foundations normally. But now that I see how hydrating this is, I think you could definitely use a beauty blender with this too, so. So it definitely is a good color match, I feel like, but it is a very, very sheer formula. Like I can definitely still see imperfections, which is nice sometimes. Um, sometimes you wanna be wearing makeup, but you don't wanna look like you're wearing makeup, and I feel like this is a really good product for that. So I'm gonna go over the spots that might need a little more coverage and see if we can build it up. So I was definitely able to build it up a little bit on the spots that I wanted to, um, but again, still a very natural finish. Definitely not a full coverage, definitely not gonna be a foundation that you're gonna want if you have a lot of acne scars or if you have active acne and you're trying to um, cover up some like redness. I don't think that this is gonna be a great product for that. But if you're pretty happy with how your skin looks without makeup on and you really just want something to kind of like even everything out and um, give you a nice glow. I think this is good, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup off camera and then I'll come back and talk to you guys about how I feel like it looks with the rest of my makeup on. All right, so I have the rest of my makeup on and I actually am really liking how it looks so far. Um, I feel like it gives you a really nice, natural, dewy looking glow. And then with makeup on, I did like my normal amount of makeup and I did add powder to it just because I can already tell knowing my skin that it's going to look a little more oily throughout the day. So I put more powder on than I would with a matte foundation. Um, but yeah, I really like it. It actually just 
honestly looks like my skin um, but better and I feel like that is the goal a lot of times so especially for like everyday makeup for me at least I like to have it look pretty natural and, and I feel like everything blended out really well on it I didn't notice anything weird when I was putting on the rest of my makeup so so far I am a big fan I will zoom you guys in to see what it looks like closer up and then I'm just gonna go on throughout my day and I will check in with you guys and let you know how it's wearing so I will see you guys in a few hours all right so it has been about five hours now I actually like totally lost track of time um, but that's good because that's about like when I would want to check in anyways so as predicted my skin got a little more oily throughout the day so it definitely is as you can see a little more oily than it was when I first put it on so I'm glad I put that powder on on top of it so definitely good to know if you have oily skin or combination skin you will definitely definitely need a powder with this foundation I would say if you're super oily I'm combination so I'm I don't I'm not super oily but I do just get a little more oily as the day goes on if you do have oily skin this might not be the foundation for you just because I would definitely have to probably repowder at some point like I don't I don't personally mind how it looks right now but if I were to you know like take photos or be on camera for something I would definitely repowder um, just so it's not quite as shiny I think for those of you that have dry skin you're gonna absolutely love this because it is definitely gonna be hydrating and it's gonna be hydrating all day long for you as far as like how it stayed on it stayed on pretty well all things considered i did run to the grocery store so i put on a mask for that and it seemed to stay on for the most part i'm sure some of it is on my mask right now but for the most part it looks pretty dang good yeah so um normally i would probably put a little more powder on right now but just because we are going to test it throughout the day i'm not going to touch it i'm just going to let it be um, finish up some work that I have to get done and then I'll check in with you guys at the end of the day before I take my makeup off and give you a final review on everything and that's it I'm gonna drink my matcha now Cheers. all right it is nighttime obviously um, and my hair still looks like a hot mess but that's not what we're talking about we're gonna talk about this foundation and my final thoughts so, I mean, right now, obviously, it's nighttime, so the oil looks a lot more apparent. I think on camera, at least it does on the screen. Hello! Come here! Hello, sir! So I want to say hi. We're starting to look less alike because his hair is getting white because he's getting old and mine's getting dark because I never see the sun. I have to cherish these moments because he's not always the most cuddly. So it's been about four and a half hours since I last checked in with you guys. And I would say that it looks pretty similar to when I last checked in with you guys. Like it hasn't gotten significantly worse, which is probably just, that probably just speaks to my skin type and how my skin type responds to this foundation. But I feel like it stayed on really well. And I'm not someone who is very careful with their face throughout the day. Like I definitely like put my hands on my face things like that that would rub makeup off and I don't notice any spots that look like very obviously rubbed off I also don't feel like it's settled into any lines I think it's a very nice natural finish I think my friends with dry skin or combo skin will love this my friends with oily skin you'd probably like the hourglass stick foundation a little better because that one is more matte Whereas this one is definitely so hydrating. I'm actually so surprised. And I think the next time I use this, I'll probably use a matte primer with it and probably do a little bit more powder as well, just to balance out the fact that I am gonna get oily throughout the day. This is definitely a very natural coverage. It built up very nicely, but I wouldn't say that if you're trying to cover any imperfections, this is gonna be your go-to foundation. I think this is just a really good everyday foundation and I will definitely be using it on a regular basis. I will say the shade range definitely needs to be updated. They need to add darker colors to the shade range because it is definitely very imbalanced on the shade range as it is right now. So I really hope they do that because I think that everybody should get a chance to try this out. I really like this 
foundation a lot. It's a win for me. I hope that gives you guys a better insight on whether or not you want to buy this foundation. I think some of you guys are going to absolutely love it. So I am excited to hear your thoughts. So let me know in the comments if you've already tried this foundation out and what your thoughts were. And let me know if there's any foundations that you're curious about that I can try out in a future video. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Archie will appreciate it. And I will see you guys in another video very soon. Bye.